Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to your readings for December 2019. We made it. We're at the end of the year, guys. We got through this doozy of a year that was 2019. It's been really a strong one will say, but hey, we made it. So congratulations. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up guys? It is great to see you. So before we move forward, I just wanna say this really quick. I have this small intro here that I put in front of all of the monthly Zodiac readings. Um, and if you are new to, the, new to the channel, I highly recommend that you watch this intro once just so that you can get a general in some general understanding of how the readings work, how you can contact me if you would like a personal reading, blah, 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 all that good stuff. If you are watching multiple videos, I have put a timestamp in the comments section below that you can use to skip this intro, but I still recommend that you watch the intro at least once, yes? Moving forward from there, right after the intro, you're gonna find that we start into, we do actually get into the reading, but we start with the pre-shuffle energy. The pre-shuffle energy is the moment that I take right before I start recording the actual reading where I'm channeling the energy of the zodiac sign in question, and I start to shuffle the cards, and when things come out, I start to get the, the general energy of what we're gonna potentially be talking about during the reading. Now, it doesn't always have to be that that message continues, into the actual full-on spread for the reading, but it seems to be that way. It's quite often seems that the pre-shuffle cards come out, come back out in the actual reading, which is really cool. But just to clear up some confusion, that pre-shuffle energy is in fact part of the reading, but because this is a general reading, if that doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. Um, just get through that and then see what comes out in the rest of the reading, yeah? So I want to wish a very, very happy birthday to the Sagittarians out there because we are in your season. Happy birthday, my Sagittarius! Yeah, it is your birthday season. Very happy birthday to you guys. I love you all so, so very much. I hope you have a great, week, uh, a great month and a great birthday season. I also want to extend a very happy birthday to the December Capricorns out there. We're going to be moving into your season next, at least in terms of Vedic or not Vedic, I'm sorry, Western astrology astrology. With that said, my channel here can resonate either way, Western or Vedic astrology. You take that into account. You let that work for you. And if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about here, don't worry about it, okay? It, just let it go over your head, <laughs> okay? Um, so with that said, we are moving into January, which is going to be the two-year anniversary of Divine Conversations. Divine Conversations was actually the birthday of Divine Conversations is January 8th. That was the first day that I posted readings here on the channel back in 2018. So Divine Conversations is going to be two years old, you guys, in January. I am super, super excited about that. Um, if you would like to get in on some sort of celebration about Divine Conversations or for Divine Conversations, if you want to send a gift, some, some, something to commemorate, blah, blah, blah. If you have you know a special um, deck of cards that you would like to send to donate to the channel to be used on the channel, whether that be Tarot or Oracle cards, I do have a P.O. box. The, P, the, the address for the P.O. box can be found in the description box below. Um, along with a bunch of other information, like information for personal readings, yes? So keep in mind that these readings are general, okay? So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a more specific view into your situation, then please don't hesitate to email me. My email address along with a list of the readings that I offer, their descriptions and their prices can be found in the description box below. Yeah. Um, so you also can find me on social media. I am on Facebook 
at facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711. You can also find me on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. The links to those sites can also be found in the description box below. I do invite you to interact with me on social media, Facebook and Instagram. However, if you would like to send me a message, if you would like to contact me, if you have a question, if you want to, if you want to um, order a reading from me, I highly recommend that you do not message me through through Facebook just because I don't always get those messages as quickly as I would like to or as quickly as necessary. Um, I do not want to miss your inquiries, especially if you're looking for a personal reading, okay? So your best bet, if you want to get a personal reading with me, your number one best bet is just to email me directly, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. That can be found in the description box below. Or to just send me a message on Instagram. Instagram is much easier for me to communicate with you guys uh, direct message-wise. Facebook is just not that reliable, and I don't want to miss your inquiries. Inquiries, okay? So for the cross watchers out there, I do want to explain that these are general readings and mostly I am going to be speaking to the, um, well, not mostly I am. Yeah. Well, actually, yes, mostly I am speaking to the Zodiac sign in question, but because these are general readings, it can be vice versa. It can switch. So if I am explaining a a situation for say Aries and you're a cross watcher for an Aries and I'm speaking directly to the Arian however the story that I'm telling is f is flipped and I'm actually it actually resonates more than I'm speaking to you than the Aries then take it okay take it as it resonates but if it doesn't work that way don't try and make it fit you're only going to at that point end up confusing yourself more or just getting all um, confuzzled and you're just worse off than when you started yeah cool um Finally, what I want to mention is I'm using a brand new Oracle deck this month. And actually, this Oracle deck, it's called the Earth Warriors Oracle by Alana Fairchild. This deck was sent by one of our viewers, Sam. Hi, Sam. Thank you so very much for sending this deck. I used it for the readings this month. And let me tell you guys this deck is awesome it's so interesting how i can you know choose different oracle decks and the messages still resonate very strongly with the rest of the reading you know i was actually and i shouldn't be surprised by that but i was a little I, it was pretty awesome pretty pretty awesome Ooh. okay well with all of that said i think we're ready so let's get into the reading yeah <laughs> Awesome. Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for December 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get straight into your pre-shuffle energy. So the first two cards that came out was the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Now, speaking um, astrologically, I do consider the Knight of Swords to be the card of the, well, I consider the Knights and the Pages to be the mutable signs within any given um element right so for air that would be gemini so i do i am seeing your energy here gemini with this knight of swords now to be clear it i don't i'm not saying you're you're on either side of this so keep in mind i mean i'm not saying that you're uh, i'm not feeling that you are specifically on one side over the other on this situation so keep in mind that this is a general reading okay so please apply this to your situation as um as it does also i feel like keep in mind that this may not this part of the reading may not resonate with you um i don't know why i'm feeling compelled to say that but okay moving forward what i'm getting with this is something some some there was some sort of secret some sort of lies deception or whatnot whatever that someone found out about and either you gemini or the other person whomever is in this knight of swords energy there's a lot of truth to bear okay i feel like this person might be might be on a little bit of a rampage um they might be this person whomever this is whomever found out about something that was unjust or something that was hidden from them or or, or or something that they were lied to about something was stolen from someone whether that's a physical possession or like energetically or whatnot whatever um, rep all of this represented by the Seven of Swords. This person might be seeing red, 
right now. So just be careful. I'm hearing judgment is upon us, upon you, whatnot, whatever. Okay. Um, we don't have the judgment card here, but we do have the magician, the nine of cups, the page of swords, which I do see as more of your energy, Gemini, but then also strength. I, um, I'm almost getting an energy of someone might have been investigating something. Um, but also the page of swords and that, that comes from the page of swords, but also the page of swords can represent communication as well. Um, point uh, a blunt straight to the point um it might be a little immature or a little um i guess you could say immature for lack of a better term or lack of a better phrase it could it, it could lack tact okay someone might just be so fed up with something that it doesn't matter to them how something gets across they're just about to give you a piece of their mind or you're about to get i guess what you could do, you could you deserve i am hearing a little bit of a comeuppance energy maybe um but this person is it's almost as if this person is taking action into their own hands bringing satisfaction into their lives speaking some sort of truth very bluntly very honestly standing up for themselves with the strength card here and also with this ace of cups there is a feeling of um I got a very strong feeling of someone really just standing up for themselves or loving themselves, uh, holding unconditional love for themselves, taking their power back. Um, just keeping, hmm, how do I want to, I'm, I'm, I feel it. I'm having trouble putting it into words, but it's like, they're taking matters into their own hands and they're looking out for their own emotional well-being. Where and it's interesting because how strongly I feel this from this Ace of Cups. This might have been a situation in which they didn't feel this this way before, or they didn't take action in this sort of way now. But something has broken, or something has been blown wide open in some way, and now this person is like showing themselves the unconditional love that they may have never showed in the past. You do have the five of wands here as an overall energy. So this could be an ego battle. This literally could just be a difference in perspective, but it but to whomever it is is on the defensive here, whomever it is has found out about something, if that is the case here for you, or something has been revealed, something like that, that's kind of how it feels. But whomever is on this side of defending themselves or or showing up for themselves even, they don't even care about this it doesn't feel like they care about it if it's a, a fuck a difference of opinion basically is how i feel or how i'm hearing this how i'm feeling this it's like i don't give a damn about what your what your how you want to like twist this or make it seem like you were right or make it seem like this isn't as bad as it is blah 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 i'm taking my power back i'm standing up for myself and you can go fuck yourself <laughs> that's basically how i'm how how this feels okay so gemini you could be this person or this could be someone else that you're connected with in terms of this situation yikes okay <laughs> this is definitely a change a departure from what we were talking about last month because last month's reading for gemini you it was pretty good there was some sort of leap of faith some new start you were going to take but now and it's interesting it this it, this might be this might be a family member this might be a a, a once someone that was once a close friend and it makes sense that this might be coming up during the holiday season because this is a time period where we're going to be spending a lot of time with friends family whatnot whatever conflicts that have from the past that have been hidden for a while may come back up blah 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 whatnot whatever but or or this could just be something brand new for you i don't know if that resonates with you just take it take it how it resonates okay all right, Gemini, let's get into the rest of your reading here for the month of December. And also, you guys may be hearing some of the construction that's going on outside. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about that. And this new microphone that I have um, really is quite sensitive and picks up a lot of the street noise. So I apologize if that's so distracting, but I, I can't stop the construction across the street. So, okay, here we go.
Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of December 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Gemini, I'm going to give this give this five shuffles. Now, here's the thing, Gem. I'm seeing yellow. One. And this is definitely an energy in which someone is taking their power back in some really strong way. Two. Maybe even a volatile way. Someone might be very, very angry. If someone is very angry, it is pent up. That's what I'm hearing. This is like, this is pent up madness from years of social, emotional, maybe even mental abuse. Social abuse is interesting. Um, three, social abuse is probably like gaslighting, um, um, uh, spreading rumors, telling lies, um, you know, twisting the story to fit a certain narrative that goes against what actually really happened in the situation potentially. Four, and five for my Geminis for the month of December 2019. Let's cut the deck here. Boop. All right, Gemini. Overall energy. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Well, here you are. The lovers. This is more of your energy. You have come through a lot already in your reading, more so than in any of the other signs that I've done so far. That's really interesting. But the lovers here is absolutely speaking to a choice. I'm hearing you have a choice to make. Either you're going to can choose to follow the guidance given by spirit, source, or higher centers, or you could stay in a lower vibrational state and just go with what the community says, or people around you say, potentially, okay? I'm not really picking up anything romantically from this. I'm picking up a choice, and that choice either being vice or virtue. Okay, underneath the lovers, oh shit, the tower. Underneath the tower, the king of wands, and underneath the king of wands, the four of swords. Uh, the King of Wands is kind of giving me a very selfish, kind of narcissistic energy. Um, it's interesting because what I'm kind of getting here is, with that, what I'm getting with this lover's energy for, for you, Gemini, or at least for this situation, someone, especially with the Tower, someone is kind of being knocked off their high horse in a certain, in a certain way. Um, I just get this very strong feeling of... Um, Choosing vice over virtue, vice being narcissistic tendencies, okay, or extremely selfish tendencies with the king of wands, virtue being compassion, understanding, maybe even forgiveness. And, it, and, it, and it's interesting because I'm not really, as of yet, I'm not feeling a resolution to this situation. What I'm feeling here is this is, I guess, giving you food for thought. Four of Swords, something to reflect on. I just getting us. I'm getting a very strong energy that someone here, whether this be you, Gemini, or maybe someone else that you're connected to, are involved with in some way. Someone here needs to like take a step back and really look at their actions, really look at their tendencies, the way they present themselves, the way they may have handled certain situations whatnot, whatever, and I guess do something about that. And that's not necessarily even to, to um, alleviate or rec reconcile this situation that seems to be blowing up in somebody's face with this tower energy. Um, it's more of just a catalyst towards getting this individual, whomever this individual is that's embodying this king of wands, narcissistic type energy, or just very, very selfish energy to kind of reshape themselves or reshape the way that they act in the world i'm hearing the way they react in the world the way they present themselves how they go about getting what it is that they want probably bulldozing or steamrolling over people 
because they feel they can. Mm. Oof, okay, I just heard a bull in a china closet. Ouch. <laughs> okay. All right, Gemini, let's get into the rest of the energies here for you. And we'll see what we've got. First half, second half of the reading. You can look at this as the first half, second half of your month. Whichever resonates best for you, just go with that, okay? First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Gemini, you have the Queen of Wands now. Well, my, that's really interesting. Queen of Wands is coupled with the world. Okay. Interesting. So what I am getting with the Queen of Wands and the world here is that someone, this is another energy of someone taking their power back. And I kind of feel like this is where someone feels confident enough to put an end to this cycle. But I'm also kind of getting an energy of kind of being quiet about it or kind of just keeping to themselves. Um, it's like what I'm feeling here Gemini is that someone is gaining some sort of confidence within themselves, um, maybe a certain level of confidence, again, like I said earlier, that they didn't necessarily have before, but I kind of, I'm getting, I'm also getting this vibe of silence, like not telling you about it, like ending the cycle between the two of you, maybe even ending the relationship between the two of you as far as they're concerned, but not really saying anything to you about it or you not saying anything anything to them about it they don't I, I it kind of feels like they're not they don't even really think it's necessary hmm. they would rather just cut ties with you all together or you would rather just cut ties with them all together and not even give it a second thought not give it any more time or energy and just be done it's almost as if they know exactly what they need to know right now at this point to close the cycle. Second set of surrounding energies, Gemini, for the first half of your reading, you have, ooh, the Ten of Cups. You really could be dealing with family. That was the first thing that came through. That was the first thing I felt when I saw that Ten of Cups. But also there's an energy of emotional fulfillment. And I kind of get the vibe that it's coming from this Queen of Wands. Um, Mainly because they just want to be happy. And they recognize that in doing so, they need to cut ties with certain individuals or with certain situations, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. Now, you could be dealing with a divine counterpart or someone that you... you um have come to the understanding of or who you you've, you you someone who you have labeled or you think or you feel or you know is your twin flame or is a twin flame you could be dealing with a twin flame situation now the thing about this is i'm not feeling like there's any sort of romantic coming together here the the lover's energy is really giving me more of a a choice at this point because the lovers can represent a choice right um but now that we have the king and the queen of wands with the ten of cups with that, the king and queen of wands typically represent the divine masculine, divine feminine in twin flame situations, just like the emperor and the empress can. Um, but also keep in mind that it does not have to be that. Okay. But because we have these certain cards here, I felt it was necessary to just point that out for those of you that are resonating with this. Okay. So with this situation here, it could be, it's the feminine that's pulling away and saying enough is enough i'm done with your narcissism okay now if even if it's if you're even if you're not dealing with a twin flame situation there is more of a feminine vibe with this queen of wands energy it could be someone that embodies more of the feminine energy versus uh, going up against someone that embodies more of the masculine energy um but i really feel like regardless of the gender it, or, or the energy even um, like the, the energetic gender being masculine or feminine, I really feel like this is showing up as the wands suit to show two people on opposite sides of the situation, but both showing strong confidence in oneself. Obviously, one, the king of wands here, um, is embodying more of that, na that narcissistic or extremely selfish energy. 
And the Queen of Wands in this situation feels like the exact opposite of that, while still being very, very confident and sure of themselves, maybe, at least at this point. They may not have been sure of themselves before, okay? You may, whatever. Ten of Cups is coupled with the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, so this person has chosen emotional fulfillment and happiness over feeling left out in the cold or feeling lack or be feeling not good enough. Somebody here has chosen happiness and fulfillment over feeling left out in the cold or rejected in some way. And again, it could be family members that you're dealing with here, okay? Okay. The challenge in the first half of your reading, Gemini, you have Page of Cups. Very interesting. Reconciliation, potentially saying I'm sorry, um, but facing something, facing your emotions in some way. Uh, yeah, but I really feel like reconciliation is the biggest challenge right now, at least in this situation. And I really kind of feel like this might be a challenge because there could be no way of reconciling really in sight. It either may seem completely impossible or right now it's just like I'm seeing kind of like the damage is too real at the moment or there's too much dust from whatever this tower moment is up in the air for you to be able to see a way of resolving the situation. You may need to just let the dust settle a little bit more before you can even think about reconciliation. Page of Cups is coupled with <laughs> Nine of Wands. Yeah, uh, Perseverance. Um, being battered and bruised. This might have been a knockdown, drag out fight between some people. But I'm also, I'm also kind of feeling like there's resistance to some sort of reconciliation here. And that could be coming from both sides of the equation. Because the Nine of Wands can represent blockages and even resistance in certain cases, where also it can represent perseverance. Okay. There might there may even be some stubborn refusal. Maybe on both sides or even either side, it doesn't matter. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading, Gemini, you have well, there's that seven of swords again. What I'm getting with the seven of swords though is Regardless as, as to whether you guys reconcile or whatnot, whatever, this should serve to teach you a lesson about dece deceiving people or being deceptive. I kind of get what I'm kind of I'm picking up here, Gemini, is someone, I think the biggest offense that may have happened here is that someone may have tried to twist the situation to, t to look like it was more in their favor when in reality they were more of the perpetrator than the victim which is ugly <laughs> that's some ugly energy you guys but to be quite honest if you want to look at it okay well i don't know if you can hear the cops but i'm gonna try i'm gonna let them pass and you know it's pretty interesting that the police sirens were going off at that moment that I was speaking about that. And I'm hearing someone has got to come to terms with something. And I feel like it's their own actions that they need to start really looking at. There are the cops right there. Okay. Seven of Swords is coupled with strength, ego, and pride is the perpetrator here, ego and pride. There is, and also, you know, part of the lesson here that is, um, that is, I'm hearing quite apparent for someone is the, the need to develop the ability to tame oneself. Instead of having to backtrack or twist things or lie, straight up lie about a situation to make it look 
better or different than it actually is, maybe you should like work on <sighs> controlling yourself better. I, I that's that's the nicest way I can put it. Because what I really heard was get your shit together, but that I mean that could go many different ways. And it's funny because I didn't even, I, I heard, the first thing I heard was get your shit together, but I didn't want to say that because it does, it could even be like, you don't, it does, it's, it's more about taming yourself than it is about getting your shit together. That's what it feels like. Interesting. Okay. So let's get into the second half of your reading here, Gemini. First set of surrounding energies for you. You have the Eight of Swords. I kind of feel like somebody has backed themselves into a corner. Maybe you backed, maybe someone was backed into a corner. I um, What I feel like here with this Eight of Swords, Gemini, is somebody has... Somebody has created a web of lies or a prison for themselves that they are now confined to. It's some, somehow, I feel like somebody put themselves in this Eight of Swords situation. And okay, that's normal. Normally, an Eight of, or eight of Swords means that you, you find yourself in some sort of mental prison, and you can, but you have the ability to get yourself out of it. I feel distinctly that this Eight of Swords is someone has placed themselves in this position now and now they've got to find a way to weasel them where weasel their way out of it eight of swords is coupled with the eight of cups so whomever has has worked themselves into this situation the best thing for you to do right now like literally what i just heard is the divine guidance is to just drop it all and walk away from it do not continue to keep up this charade. Wow. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Gemini, you have... Ooh, but there's the Nine of Cups again. That's really interesting. I don't know. I'm just getting a really smug energy from this Nine of Cups now. Now, okay, so because I'm being brought back to the situation in which the uh, in the pre shuffle, the nine of cups came out and someone was was taking their own satisfaction into their own hands. Right. And not relying on anyone else to deliver that satisfaction to you. And now at this point, I'm kind of feeling like with what we've seen here so far, um, someone is not even interested in any sort of closure. So this could be, this Eight of Swords, Eight of Cups could be somebody just completely walking away from this situation, completely done. It absolutely could be this Queen of Wands that's putting an end to the situation here, right? And thus, their own happiness and satisfaction is assured. Now, I am still feeling a smug energy here. So it could be this person that's the Queen of Wands that's kind of been manipulated or whatnot, kind of feeling smug that they've gotten away from it. Um, but I'm also feeling an energy of... Ooh, putting on a mask and maybe self-medicating. And that could be either side of the equation. But you know what? I'm going to say here that it could definitely be this person represented by the Queen of Wands that's walking away, putting an end to the cycle or the circumstance or the situation that could be still up in their feels and maybe drowning their sorrows or maybe trying to self-medicate. But also it could be, it, does, it doesn't matter. It could be the perpetrator. It could be the victim. And I use those terms lightly, but okay. Interesting. Nine of Cups is coupled with... Who the page of swords <laughs> ouch the page of swords again and what i'm hearing here is someone is getting satisfaction from telling you off and not being cute about it not having any sort of desire to have any sort of tact again i'm feeling like giving somebody a piece of their mind and not giving a damn how they come across at this point anymore. <laughs> Diplomacy flew out the window when you made that first attempt, is what I just heard. 
Yikes. I'm sorry to say that this is, I mean, Gemini, this is not the best energy. This is really not in, uh, the best energy, most positive energy to end the year with, but I just heard, hey, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, also, Gemini, this could be your energy here with this Page of Swords. Okay, your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Gemini, you have, wow, the Hermit. So someone really has got to look, take a good hard look at themselves. That's the challenge here. Part of the challenge. Mm. The Hermit is coupled with the Queen of Swords. So, okay, look. <laughs> what I'm getting with this, Gemini, is somebody here needs to take a good hard look at themselves and do whatever they need to do to bring balance into the situation. Because, and, and this doesn't necessarily mean the situation between you and this other person, okay? This is for, I mean, uh, this is, I, I really do feel like this is the, the perpetrator that we're talking to here, whether that's you, Gemini, or somebody else. Somebody, ne somebody needs to take a good hard look at themselves and do whatever they need to do to bring ju justice or balance into the situation. And it's interesting that I'm saying justice because the Queen of Swords repre is rep uh, represents Libra energy. In the major arcana, Libra is represented by the Justice card. The Queen of Swords is all about balance. And but she's not like her counterpart in the King of Swords where she where he will go through great lengths to be as diplomatic as he as he possibly can to hear all sides of the situation to look at things up down left right this that way and sideways to get a greater understanding of it to make his decision. The Queen of Swords looks at it as it is and slices down where 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 the balance would be. No if ands, or buts about it. No real conversation about it. No bullshit. Okay? So someone here has got to stop bullshitting themselves. And be really honest about what it is they're putting out into the world, potentially. How it is they're conducting themselves in the world. Okay? And this is not my own narrative here. This is... The I mean, this is how the cards are falling. This is the challenge section of the second half of your reading. Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Gemini, you have, well, 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 the King of Cups now. That is excellent because this represents emotional maturity and emotional responsibility. Taking responsibility for yourself and your actions. Beautiful. That's quite a shift here. King of Cups is coupled with. Ooh, the Empress. The Empress represents unconditional love. But the Empress is also another energy that is not going to take any shit. She's the queen of all queens. She knows her worth. But what I'm getting with this, with the King of Cups and the Empress here, is... There is an abundance of unconditional love. So whomever is on the perpetrator side of this situation, it doesn't just because you may have done may may have acted in some narcissistic ways, you may have, you know, taken advantage of certain situations just to to prove your point or to um influence things to go in your favor. It doesn't mean that you're not worthy of unconditional love. It doesn't mean that you're not worthy of forgiveness. It doesn't mean that you're not worthy of abundance either. That was the biggest thing that I felt when the Empress came out. And I feel like that's, you know, that could be part of the situation. Someone might be, have this high and mighty view of themselves. Someone might have this extreme hierarchical view of the world and someone might think of themselves as better than others, which is influencing them to act in these narcissistic ways. And here, what you're, what, what the queen, what I'm sorry, the king of cups and the empress is trying to teach you, or maybe this even whole situation is trying to teach you, is that all children of source, 
God, creator, whatever you want to say, are equal. No one is better than the other. No one is more entitled to the abundance of the universe and the abundance of unconditional love than the other. Mm. Beautiful. That actually, with all of this nastiness <laughs> that has been coming through in this reading, this is really a beautiful end to all of that. And to be quite honest that, guys, this could actually be a very prime example as to how even some of the darkest situations always serve the light. Always. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Yeah? All right, Gemini. Let's get your oracle guidance to close out this reading for your month of December, yeah? All right, here we go, Gemini. Closing message, oracle guidance for you for the month of December 2019. For my Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, no, I'm not going to take these. I'm going to let this fall out naturally. For my Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 29. You keep getting two. I'm going to take the bottom one. Mm. Okay. Card number 31. Elaz. Divine might foretold. Interesting. Let's see what this says. Now, three and two. Oh, I'm sorry. Not 32. 31. Wow. Never mind. I was going to say three and two make five, which is change and challenge, but it's actually 31, which is four, balance and grounding. This card says, you know what is correct. You understand that any gain which comes from denying your values and compromise, compromising yourself creates a loss of soul. There are times where it may seem as though people who act without integrity are obtaining benefit without negative repercussions. Life can seem unfair if you limit yourself to a strictly human perspective, yet nothing escapes the attention of the spiritual worlds. Restorative action and balance, I'm sorry, and balancing fairness is always in action and at a higher level, according to divine timing and wisdom. Stay true to your integrity, put your faith in divine justice, and you will win in a way that brings benefit to many. In a reading, this says, don't let yourself down with behavior or attitudes that are unworthy of you. You have divinity within you and a right to be in the world with dignity, grace, and integrity. Whether in a small matter of apparent insignificance to anyone other than yourself, or in big matters where you feel your soul, and perhaps the souls of others, are on the line. Integrity will be your saving grace. You can, be a, you can be kind of heart, but also firm as you refuse to allow anyone or anything to convince you that lowering your standards of acceptable behavior is warranted. Be in, re, be in right relationship with yourself and the divine. Justice will always be done, whether you see it happening or not. Put your faith in the good and true, and you will successfully continue on your path. Others are relying on you to be true to yourself more than you may realize. You are strong enough to live with honor. Ooh, wow. That was a very, it was quite a poignant message, I'd say. So there you have it, Gemini. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading next year. Yeah? Take care. Bye.